Hello and welcome to another review. This one is for the Storm Proton Physics. Angel's layout once again is 5x3.5x2.5. By by We're at Royal Crest Lanes, and if you'd like to know more about layouts or what these numbers mean, please watch Storm's Pin Buffer Layout System Trilogy. There's just no better explanation or visualization out there. The Proton Physics features the NEX solid cover stock, most recently launched on the Axiom, which is an evolution of NRG, adding more entry angle, durability, and longevity to the trademark smooth, controllable, and continuous reaction NRG is known for. The atomic core comes in at a 248RG, an 053 differential, and an 017 split or intermediate differential. There's a quite low RG, which is going to get the ball revving quickly. The 053 differential will provide plenty of flare, and the 017 intermediate differential will add the extra torque down lane to create consistency and continuation. For such a strong ball, it at least gets to 30 feet pretty easily, and of course at the 2000 box surface, it's going to be pretty chewy out of the box, especially on a house shot, but the best part of Angel's game is her release. A ball like the Proton is a great fit and balance for her because while her soft and smooth release gets the ball easily through the fronts, it begins revving up and slowing down about halfway down the lane and then when it hits the dry on the back end, it's firm and continuous. The overall strength puts her pretty deep on the lane, but anytime you see a ball this strong recover, pick up, and then drive like this from those angles with her medium-ish rev rate, without puking or being flat or lazy, it has to raise your eyebrows. Comparing it to the Rubicon, there's a few things to point out. The Rubicon isn't quite as strong of a ball, but it's more responsive, which can give the illusion of strength. However, even on the house shot, you can see that while it forces her deeper to get the ball down the lane like the Proton does, the Proton controls the lane better on the fresh. The Rubicon has more raw aggression, and on conditions where the Proton won't be able to make it down the lane, You'll see the Rubicon then picking up earlier and blending the lane more, but with the angle she's forced to play here to get the Rubicon down the lane, it doesn't quite have the traction to start up early enough, and when it does start moving, it's a little late and behind the head pin on the fresh. However, again, once the Proton starts digging too much, as it started to later in filming, the Rubicon will step right in, and with it being slightly weaker, the extra friction on the lane will balance the reaction out and you'll be back in business. As the Rubicon is also a rare combination of higher traction and the ability to play angle and continue successfully, these two could be a pretty amazing pair on heavier volumes. Switching sides and centers to gauge bowl, I also have my Proton drilled 5x3.5x2.5, which is my go-to ASIM layout. And we're on the 2019 Open Championships doubles and singles pattern, which is medium long and heavier volume. This is the kind of condition the Proton is designed for and it doesn't disappoint. The extra oil makes the Proton shape more the way weaker balls look on typical lower volume conditions. There's extra length and more pop, but the strength of the Proton still gets enough traction and the atomic core helps it wind up and deliver optimal reaction even as I chase it deeper. Now as I move over to the house shot, you can instantly see the difference. It's earlier and visually smoother on the house shot, making it actually cover fewer boards. This is because it's using more energy hooking earlier, but if you'll notice like we saw with Angel, it's not burning up or quitting. It's blending the lane more because it's getting traction earlier, but it's smoother, not lazier. This is a key characteristic of nano base covers and something I've been pointing out for years. Moving to another nano base cover in the current standard for hook with the UFO back on the 2019 OC DNS pattern. You can see that the idea is very similar and the traction is very similar. There's just a small shape delta. The Proton is a bit more even rolling with a hard arc that's very Halo-esque, while the UFO is a little rounder but stronger down lane. Now if you've checked out my new rated review series, the UFO tops the charts on hook with a 10, a 3 for length, and a 5 for back end strength. My ratings for the Proton are also a 10 for hook, but a 4 for length as it feels a little easier up front and a 4 for back end as it's a little smoother. The UFO also handles angle and friction quite well as we're seeing now moving to the house shot. 
And just like with the Proton, it's earlier and smoother versus the DNS shot, but blending well and still continuing. There's a sizable amount of overlap with these two. They're both strong and dynamic, both nano base covers, but for me the Proton is marginally more controllable from straighter angles, and the UFO is marginally more dynamic from deeper angles. That's splitting hairs, but for the hardcore reaction geeks, it does exist. The Proton Physics releases on December 4th. Select the next comparison you'd like to see from the links on the screen or scroll down to the description to find links to other choices. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.